Oh well, uh, this one's going to be on uh, creating your own uh, custom application or uh, script launchers. And uh, I'm using Ubuntu specifically uh, because Nautilus, your file manager, doesn't have a create launcher facility anymore. Now, if you use Nemo, there is one. But uh, in any case, um, I made a folder here in my home folder called launchers. And inside there are just... Uh, custom launchers that I have and if you want these to show up in your dash uh, launcher or inside the dash itself when you search uh, you have to move them to your local folder oops so it'll be uh, home your username dot local and then share and then under applications so I have uh, three here a uh, clear clipboard wallpaper and temperatures so by searching dash for clear you see it's here clear the clipboard and that just runs and clears the clipboard um, but you can drag it onto the dash if you want for example or just unlock and so this is temperature that opens a terminal pauses um, and then shows you what temperatures are and then press any key to uh, close it. And this one here is, uh, this will go out to uh, Interface Lift. It's a script I get off um, the internet that will download uh, 20 wallpapers and then close when it's finished. All right, so let's go back to this folder, Launchers. It's just like a testing ground sort of thing. And to edit these, uh, you have to use uh, the terminal. So open the terminal if you have that. Uh, here or just uh, change to the directory here so you can like copy this then open a terminal control T and then type change directory and we'll just paste that in same idea and we can do a list out like LS and you see there's the three there but they're dot desktop entries so for example um, to make it easier just to do like a G edit and then say clear and tab should complete that and it opens up in G edit and you can see that it's a desktop entry in square brackets name comment uh, what to execute an icon terminal or not uh, type application categories utility application okay so just uh, press control A and I'll select all and then control C to copy it then open new at the top where this plus symbol is oops right here and just right click in the area and press paste and we'll just change this so for example if you want to want um, launch Firefox in safe mode um, we'll call it a Firefox safe mode and the comment is anything you want. Uh, trouble, shoot, Firefox. The executable, uh, it's global, so you can just type in Firefox. And then the command is two dashes safe, and then one dash, and then M O D E mode. Uh, we'll leave the icon out, so I'll just take this line and delete it. Terminals false, application and utility categories are they're fine. So we have to save this, right? So click save and go to your home folder and where if you made a folder called launchers or whatever you want to call it, just double click that and say uh, Firefox oops. Firefox um, dash safe dot desk top enter so you can close both of this uh, G edit and go back to the home folder launchers and see us uh, Firefox here is a uh, Firefox safe dot desktop to make it executable just right click on it go down to properties and then under permissions go down to execute and tick this box and then close now it no longer has any text or anything so you double click and it should pop up and say start in safe mode so 
and there shouldn't be any add-ons extensions see everything's disabled so it's running without um, extensions okay so to get an icon you can download one off the internet like I did uh, say um, pictures or maybe not it's in downloads I think I downloaded two of them so say this one um, yep <clears throat> Again, uh, depends on where you want it. You can leave it right there in the downloads. I moved mine to the local folder, share, and then I made a new uh, folder called icons here. And there's the icons that I'm using so far. So go back to uh, downloads. Right click in Ubuntu Nautilus, copy to, and then go to your home folder. If you don't have any uh, shortcuts, press Control H. And then go down to dot um, local share, and then it, whatever you called your folder icons, and then at the bottom here, hit select, and that should copy that in. So go back to the local share icons. You see it's here, and let's give it a simpler name: um, Firefox. Uh, dash safe dot png okay so there's the link and then um, <clears throat> say if you're in you want to go back to your home folder just right click and click open new window or open new tab so tab launchers we still have the terminal open um, we can g edit the uh, firefox just uh, safe desktop and the path was under icons and uh, share. So control C, copy that, and paste that in uh, with control uh, V, and then a space, I mean a slash, and then whatever the name of this is, so properties, and say copy that name. Close. In here. Paste. And just... Uh, save close now it might not always show up okay it did okay so unhide here and there's Firefox safe mode uh, with an icon so now we can just uh, say copy go home uh, go to the home folder sorry and there's a bunch of ways you can do this. Press Control H again and go to your local, right here. Dot local. Share. Applications. Right click and paste. And there's Firefox safe. Now, if I quit this, exit the terminal, and start typing in Firefox, you can see there's two now: Firefox web browser and Firefox safe mode. If you want, you can drag it on the launcher, and then start. Try that again, so Firefox safe mode. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. I know it's a little long-winded, but it's creating the launchers are fairly simple. Right, you could just leave it here. Backup files. Um, but if you want it to show up in Dash, you have to copy to the uh, local share um, applications folder. Or move it, whatever you want. Okay, and if you want these, you can back them up to Ubuntu 1 or whatever, uh, so you always have them. All right, so that's creating a custom launcher in Ubuntu, Nautilus, and uh, this will work in most other Linux editions. All right, like the basic idea is the same. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and uh, bye for now.